John Cranko's production of Romeo and Juliet is a beautiful presentation of the story we already well know, capturing some of Shakespeare's most iconic poetry in the unspoken medium of ballet presents dancers with a challenge that is both familiar and rewarding. Romeo is pacified by his love for and marriage to Juliet, but Tybalt's on a warpath. Romeo refuses his challenge to a duel, and Mercutio eagerly steps in. However, in a moment of confusion, Tybalt accidentally, albeit unsympathetically, stabs Mercutio. His death is slow, and he tries futilely to mask his agony with humor. Heartbroken and furious over Mercutio's murder, Romeo picks up his sword and fights wildly with Tybalt, ultimately running him through, quite intentionally. Both death scenes have a tremendous amount of power to them and serve as great opportunities for our artists to display an extreme of the human experience. Since we're unable to speak, a lot has to be communicated through gestures, through looks, body language. We spend our careers figuring out not only what feels right, but reads correctly to an audience, because the two are often different. So this skill of almost watching yourself as you're putting on the show is important to develop so that the audience can really read your intention and take away something that is meaningful to them.